guys welcome to my channel and today i will be showing you guys how i feed air into knotless braids there's this video i made some times ago i have a lot of questions on that video in the comment section that ask about how i feed air into my knotless braids i have different like four different videos of knotless braids but this particular one that i'm saying i am going to link the description uh, the link of that one in the description box so so in this video i am using dummy hair because dummy head yeah <laughs> because i can't i can't really show it very well if i'm using a client's hair and you see in the background i'm showing the video of how it's gonna look on the client's hair if that makes sense so if you follow this same method this same way i'm going to fit the hair inside you're going to get the results of the video that is showing on the other end the video of those ladies showing that is what you're gonna get and I started in the middle of this dummy head because it's gonna show properly okay the dummy head is synthetic so it's kind of like so bulky so I'm gonna use the middle also this is how I prep my hair this particular one is for small size small knotless braids as you can see that the hair i'm prepping is very tiny can you see it's so small because we want our braids to be to start small from the beginning so it can be the just as the name knotless so we don't want to see any knots from the beginning it's going to look like the the braid starts with uh, clients a uh, just their natural hair okay and that's why i'm doing this tiny tiny one and at the end of the day when I finish that before I start my braids I'm gonna take one of those braids one of those hair that I prep I'm gonna still divide it into two okay I did not start my braids with just with that <laughs> how do I even explain this and so I'm gonna take one of that and split it into two and I'm gonna start my braids like that okay yeah so i took one of those air and i divided it into two i split it into two so it can be smaller tinier and that is how that's the one i'm going to start the braids with okay and you can see that hair is so tiny and simply because this size that I'm showing is for small size. So I'm going to fill, fill in those two, those, the one that I split into two. Then I started with the regular one that I split it. And I fill two of that in as well. So the braids can have a little body. So how many hair did I fit in here now? I splitted, I, I feed in two splitted one and two complete one. Okay, and after that you don't want to com continue braiding down like that because you'll be too skinny. So as you continue braiding, you you feed the hair in. It depends on how thick you want your braid to be. If you want it all skinny like that, you don't have to feed air into it. If you want it to have a little body, you feed into it. And also have in mind that the thickness of the client's air also play a lot of roles into this. Because if the clients have a very thick air, okay, you don't want to feed in too much air because it will be too bulky. If clients have thick air, you just have to feed the hair in little by little, okay? Can you see how it started from small and it started having getting thick a little bit, little by little? So if you don't want it to come down like that, you can just continue feeling tiny, tiny, tiny hair, okay? And if you want it to, to have body, you can just do it exactly like this. I'm going to repeat the same process for the second braid. I'm a bit fast now because I'm going to be doing the same thing. I take one braid and I split it into two. And then I start the braid with the two splitted hair. And then I feed in the regular hair. So, yeah, I'm 
going to start with the one that I split it into two. Uh, the main reason I do this is just to ensure that the braid is so flat, it's very skinny, and it kind of give it this natural look. It looks like the the braid starts with a with the real hair like it doesn't look like you had any hair to it at all and that's why you have to start with a very skinny braid especially this size that is small size you don't want it to be bulky or big or you know what i mean The, the this dummy hair is synthetic okay it's not natural hair, so it's a little bit of struggle for me because it's very slippery if you see the way i am holding it oh my god <laughs> oh god it's so slippery i'm looking forward to get another another one that has a human hair i kind of purchased this one from online from amazon but it is it has a good hair but it's synthetic it's not it is it's not good to practice very well especially if you're first time and you don't know how to braid very well it's not good to get a synthetic hair because it will make it so hard for you to get but if you buy the one with a human hair of course that is the same texture or very likely same texture with the with the real person hair So the same way I fit it into this dummy is the same way I'm going to fit it into that client's hair. So if the clients now come and show up with a thick hair, of course my initiative will tell me to apply the hair tinier, okay? But if I hair, I mean, you know what I mean, if you've been braiding, you know, and then it depends on the thickness that you want to achieve, okay? So I'm kind of getting this up close. And you can see how flat, despite the fact that this air is synthetic, I try my best to make it so flat because it's it is slippery. It's slippery. Oh gosh, it's simply <laughs> it is slippery. Stop, stop messing with my English. So it is very slippery. So regardless, it is you know very flat, and you cannot tell that I had it air from the beginning and that is the whole point that is why it is called not less not less so this two one that i have at the top the first one i'm going to try to do it i'm going to do it with a splitted air and the other one i did it without splitting it and then you are going to see the difference let me keep quiet and let you watch those two and then i'll talk about the difference when i'm done
we go but somehow i'm caught in the middle is this the end before we've even begun should i work against the flow a drop in the ocean so endless reaching for our moments miles above i just need one see this first one is the one that i did not split the hair the one on my hand now is the one that i split can you see the difference this one i did not split the hair can you see it's not that bad that's why i said depends on what you want okay but i usually split my hair before what i normally used to do is i don't split it and even in the video that i'm talking about that people were asking how i had the hair i did not split it but as you know as you keep doing your work, you, I, I, I just looted it one day and I love the result and I see that my clients love it too and it looks more natural. So that's why I've been, you know, splitting it like that. So I hope this video is helpful. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. Thank you for watching my video. And I hope to see you in my next video. I hope this is helpful. If it is helpful, kindly comment down below comment in the comment section or if there's any other video you want me to make if there's anything you know just comment down let's interact let me know what you feel if it's the skinny or the thick one thank you peace out